Welcome to my channel, Galactic Jamie. Each week, I come on here to talk about my two favorite topics, outer space and nail polish. So this week, I wanted to do a glamorous glitter manicure, but first, let's talk about outer space. So back in October, astronauts achieved a really cool milestone. So basically, for the past 20 years, we have continuously had at least one person in space. So there's always been one person up there, and that's largely in part due to the International Space Station. That's our topic for today. We're gonna talk about the International Space Station. So I'm sure you've heard of the International Space Station before. So it's basically a satellite, which if you didn't know, a satellite is an object that orbits around a planet. This space station is a man-made satellite that astronauts are able to hook up to and stay in for extended periods of time. It's also a resting point between destinations and space. So you'll see in the future, we're gonna probably have some spaceships that are heading to further destinations like the moon or Mars or who knows, in the future it could be even further out. And the International Space Station is gonna help them continue moving that direction. So the space station sits in a low orbit around Earth, um, and it was created by five space agencies. You have NASA, which is the US, ESA, which is Europe, JAXA, which is Japan, Roscosmos, which is Russia, and CSA, which is Canada. So the space station was launched 22 years ago, back in November of 1988. No, 98. <gasps> back in November of 1998. Oh wow, that makes me feel really old. 98 was 22 years ago. Yeah, that's weird. So anyways, so the space station is basically a hub for a lot of scientific research, including topics like astronomy, obviously, astrobiology, physics, space weather, etc. Some of that research will help with humans going to Mars, hopefully keeping that decompression of a human like in Total Recall far from our reality. So one of the really cool projects that has happened on the space station is that they've learned how to grow food in microgravity. So astronauts ate the first space salad back in 2015, um, just made out of all items grown in outer space. And right now there's still radishes growing on the International Space Station. So this is gonna help a lot with development of um, longer term missions or being able to settle on another planet. The fact that we can grow food in space is a huge step forward in space exploration. So one other cool thing they've done is they've collected data on 100 billion cosmic particles using the alpha magnetic spectrometer. So one other thing astronauts have done up in the space station is that they've advanced research on a lot of health topics, including research into Alzheimer's, cancer, heart disease, Parkinson's disease, like a lot of diseases and um, conditions they've been studying up there and they've advanced a lot in those fields. So the space station orbits the earth every 93 minutes. I wonder if any of the astronauts ever feel like, um, you know that scene in Superman where he's just like flying around the earth as quickly as possible trying to either go back in time or turn the earth back in time. Well, I wonder if up there, because they go around the earth so quickly, if any of them ever think of that scene. I know I would, but I'm also like kind of a nerd, so. So one really interesting fact about the space station is that the crew sees 16 sunrises and sunsets every single day. Because they are orbiting the Earth every 93 minutes, they get to experience the sunrise and sunset multiple times. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. Well, that's all I have to say about the space station today. I'm sure I'll do more videos in the future about the space station, possibly talking about what it's like up there, how they're able to survive up there, what they do up there. I'm definitely gonna try to get more in depth about it in a different video in the future. So now let's get on to the nail portion of the video. So today I wanted to do a really elegant, beautiful manicure. I mean one that screams G-L-A-M-O-R 
Oh, you S, yeah. So I wanted to do like a glitter tipped manicure. Just keep it really simple and beautiful. So if you're interested in watching the tutorial on how I achieved this look, keep watching. With all of my manicures, I start with a clean dry nail and also one coat of base coat. Today I'm using the Orly Bonder base coat. This provides a nice base for your manicure and it helps it to last longer. So now I'm going to paint the base color of my manicure. Today I'm using the Oralee's Confetti Polish. I wanted to pick a really like sheer, light color that's almost a nude. It somewhat blends in with my skin. Um, I just thought it would create a really beautiful, understated, glamorous look. So I'm going in and doing one coat of this, and then once that dries, I'm gonna go in and do another coat just to get it to the opacity that I like for this manicure. When you're picking the polishes to do a manicure like this, you want to pick a either a sheer or like a cream that is in a similar color family to the glitter that you've chosen. You want to stay in a similar color family for this specific type of manicure so that it blends really well and also like it gives you that, like I said, understated, very elegant look. Since I am going to be sponging on the glitter, I wanted to put some liquid latex around my nail so that I don't get any of that glitter on my finger. It's really difficult to clean up glitter nail polish from your finger, so I figured using liquid latex would just make that process so much easier and faster. And since I'm not going to go all the way down my nail, I put the liquid latex where I thought the glitter polish might actually touch my skin. So next you want to take a makeup sponge, which you can find these at any drugstore. I like to cut off a piece of it so I'm not using the whole sponge. And then you take your glitter color, which today I'm using China Glaze's You're Too Sweet. And you just tap a bit of the polish on the end of the sponge. You don't need a whole lot on there. Um, you just tap a little bit on there. And then you pick up that sponge and you just tap it along the tip of your finger. Now you want the glitter to be most dense at the very tip of your finger, so that's where you want to concentrate the majority of that polish. So as that polish is sticking to your finger, that means there's less polish on the sponge, so you can start moving it down your nail so it's more spread out the further down on your nail you are. So I wanted the tip to be slightly more dense than I was getting with the sponge, so I decided to go in with the polish brush and just add a little bit more to the tip just to get a really a thicker layer of that glitter at the very top. As you can see, it has that diffused look going down. Now you want to use tweezers or you could use your finger and peel off that liquid latex while that glitter um, polish is still wet so that it doesn't pull up dry polish. So now I'm just gonna go through and do all of my nails the same way. And this technique can really be used with any sort of glitter manicure you wanna do. You can even do, um, you know, completely contrasting colors to get a really bold look. You can do really anything. I've seen people do like black with gold for like New Year's or something like that. Um, you can really do anything with this technique. It's really easy to do. All you need is a sponge and nail polish. I personally wanted to go with the pink color family since Valentine's Day is coming up. I thought it'd be festive to do something really simple and fun for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. 
So when you're done applying the glitter polish, you wanna go in with a top coat. I like using a quick dry top coat, so today I'm using Oralee's second dry top coat. Um, quick dry top coats help speed along the drying process for all the layers of polish. So it not only does the top layer where the top coat is dry quickly, it actually helps the layers underneath dry quickly as well too. So there you have my glitter tipped manicure. I really love this look. I think it was just really fun and beautiful and elegant. Let me know what you all think of the manicure in the comments below. So I really love the combo of these two polishes together. I feel like they just blended really well, creating a really simple, understated, beautiful, glamorous look. Um, you could really wear this any time of year. I think pink for Valentine's Day was fun, but you could use it anytime also you could try any polishes with this i would just try to keep the polishes in like the same color family or color scheme so that you get the really understated and not like in your face beautiful look um although i love in your face polish too don't get me wrong i just wanted something a little more chill today so if you try this nail look at home please tag me in any photos i'd love to see what you guys do so if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and also if you're a space nerd like me or if you love nail polish go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now so you don't miss any of my videos i hope you all have a stellar week bye